It's that time of year again, the holiday movie season. And I can't think of a better way to start it off than the fourth Harry Potter film, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. There's always pressure on sequels to be bigger and better. How do they do? Let's take a look. This time out, Harry must compete against two rival schools in a sort of magical Olympics called the Triwizard Tournament. He's called to do battle with sea creatures and dragons, but ultimately he has to struggle with growing up and the evil that surrounds him. All the great characters from the past films return, and some new characters are introduced, including a cranky new professor with a magical eyeball, Mad-Eye Moody. Professor Moody! What are you doing? Teaching. Is that a, is that a student? Technically, it's a ferret. Harry also finds time to explore perhaps his most frightening task yet, asking a girl out to a dance. The kids are older, so with the Goblet of Fire, you get a more grown-up feel to the movie, and it also cranks up the thrills in action. But is the film actually good? The answer is yes. This is the best movie of the series so far. They do a great job of taking the dark and sinister tone of the book and putting it on film. Also, they do a great job of tackling the growing adolescence of Harry and his friends. But parents, please take note, this movie is rated PG-13 for a reason. A lot of scary things happen, so please think of that before you bring the kids. But for everybody else, this movie is an absolute smash. I can't think of a better way to spend two and a half hours this holiday season. I absolutely recommend it. I'm Jason Valentine with your View on Film.